Hi everyone and welcome back. Let's try to do a simple exercise. And here we are going to use uh, different hooks and the functional component and all. So we are going to write a functional component app. Okay, and this is going to render our simple name component. Okay, name editor component you can say where we are going to have a text field and simple button and we are going to play around with the, some logics. Okay, here we have two properties, I mean two huge state properties name, set name and this is react dot huge state and this is of type string. We can also define the typings and the initial value for this is let's say default. Similarly, we have another property in the huge state which is the editing name and then we can call it as a set editing name. This is the default name and both are type of string. Okay. And like how we define the huge state that we can define to just load the username. This can be sync async. Let's try to play with async load username and this is going to have some timeout logic because we wanted to achieve some async javascript behavior and what it is doing after a particular duration this is going to set some properties on both set name will have okay name add name or something anything like and there is another property set editing name is like name from async call so this is how we define a simple method and we are going to call it from the react dot use effect and how we define use effect just a callback inside it and we are going to pass the dependency array which is empty because we want to call this only once and here we can call load username that's it okay now we are going what we are going to return from this component this component is a simple functional component you can also define react.fc it's not returning anything i mean export default app i mean we have to define const if we are if you want to define types const app of react fc then export default app react fc void is not assignable to type this okay we have to define something inside a return then it will fix this because we have to return a single element and this is fine here we are going to use here we are going to render some children component that we can render and we are going to pass a lot of props so we will also understand the type definitions for the props so we are going to create name edit component and we are going to pass some properties let's say initial username which we are getting from the name property then editing name this is another property we are passing and these are the two methods also we are going to pass so you can change you can call set editing name and set name from the child component on name updated you are going to call set set name and there is another property on edit updated i think edit name updated you are going to call another method which is here set editing name that's it now we need to define this name edit component so here we will also understand the component communication like name edit component is receiving all these props so how to define the prop types so we can define this on the top so it should be visible and it is going to render JSX for us. 
Now we will define name edit component. It is receiving all these props, initial user name and all. So we will also define the prop type for this. Type name edit component props. And inside this, we can specify all these properties because it is taking all these four properties. So initial username is of type string. Second editing username is also of type string. This is of type method. So we have to manage this accordingly. This is of type method on name updated. Sometimes it is very slow to update here. Okay, and it, it is not if we can just define any and this is another method here it is taking some string on edit name updated it is taking some value so we can say name edit name editing name this is of type string and it is returning any here the objective of this example to explain you uh, the DOM events, how to deal with the DOM events using JSX, right? Now we are using TypeScript, so they will also be a little different, like how to define the type for the events. So here uh, we are defining export const. You don't need to export it because it's a single file. Here this is of type React functional component. Okay, and we can specify this name added props. name edit props and we can access all the props properties now what this function is going to return a simple input text input elements input type text and there is a some on some dom events like on change on change we are going to call one local method which we are going to define on change and value we are going to receive from the props props dot initial edit username okay now on change we can define here this is the dom event const on change so it is going to receive event of type something let's say any and then we'll modify it and what we are planning to do it we are going to call the the parent component method which is on edit name updated and we are going to pass event dot target dot value if you don't use typescript then it can be written very easily we don't need to worry about the types and all here the type will be react dot now what all methods are there react dot change event click event react dot change event on which element HTML input element. Okay, input element. So this is your exact the event object, and we are setting event dot target dot value. Okay, similarly there is a method submit button also there. We can define something for that. Okay, submit method is calling on name submit whenever you are clicking onto this. That means you are submitting this particular name on name submit we can define here this is also a dom event const on name submit it is also going to receive event and you are going to call props.on name updated right so this is how you are receiving the, the you are defining the types you are calling the parent class method rest all are the basic react concepts we didn't do anything editing name we are getting from there on edit name updated whenever you are typing something in the text field we are doing a on change event we are setting it it is going to the parent component parent component is sending us the updated values right so the objective of this example is to understand the type definitions for parent child relationships like how to define the props for any component like we have all these types defined how to handle the events i mean you can skip and just put any if you don't want to do it but it's always better that you define the the, the typings for each and everything in your typescript code
okay what is this on name updated let me see this why this is creating a warning for us on name updated maybe we are what we are doing is set username state on name updated let's go to the edit component on name updated it is calling as a method we can call it as a set user name a local method let's try to define this and here we are what we are doing is set username so set name i think we have property and we can call that set name editing name whenever you are finally submitting it we are setting that value okay so this is the example now we are going to talk about the class based component also there the defining the props and state is totally different here also whenever you are doing any kind of hooks you can define the types for it like currently we defined only string but this can be a whole object right in that case you will be defining the type type uh, let's say uh, name state and here you are going to define okay i have a name properties of type string i have email is of type string and then you can pass this name state in the use state hook this is how you can introduce the typings and here you will pass the default value also currently it is pointing to the string right but it is not a string now it becomes an object this should be of type name state right so string cannot be assignable to the name state so you will be as, uh, initializing it with the default object which is of type name state you will have a name and email name is empty email is also empty okay i mean they are having some value now if you make it an optional then you can skip it passing okay that's it guys thanks everyone